Hello, today I'm going to be showing you a new add-on from Google Cloud that will allow you to seamlessly import, update, manage, and share data from Salesforce using Google Sheets. My name is Chelsea Fishbach. I'm from the Global Technology Partnerships team, and we're going to be talking about how you can use this add-on to improve the collaboration of your team and save time every day with your Salesforce workflows. Let's dive in. Let's start by looking at a lead report in Salesforce. You can see here that it's broken down by status and by lead owner. Today, we're going to be focusing on a use case where you're at the end of a quarter and you're looking to update your lead data to better project your sales for the following quarter. This is just an example, though, and you can use any object that you have configured in your Salesforce instance. Let's go ahead and jump over to the add-on to see what this data will look like in Google Sheets. So you can see here that we have a sheet already open. Let's go ahead and open up the add-on. If you don't have the add-on already installed, you can get it from the Get Add-ons menu. So let's open up the add-on. Here you can see all of the options that are available for you to take using the add-on. Let's start by pulling in the data from that report we were just looking at. From the Reports option, you can choose a recently run report or search any report that's in your Salesforce instance. Let's go ahead and pull up the leads report by status as we were looking at in the previous view. We're gonna import this data to the current sheet, which will wipe out the data that we have there. If you wanna keep the data in your current sheet, just open up a new tab. You can see here all of the data from that report loaded in the sheet. We can see the status, the owner. We can also see a lot of demographic data about the lead. This data can be really helpful when you're looking to share data with people who might not have access to Salesforce or when you're doing those year-end reports and you wanna use all of the power of sheets to build charts and to just make better business decisions. Now let's look at what we can do if we import a custom query. From the import option, you can choose any object that you have access to in your Salesforce database. Let's go ahead and pull up the lead object that we were looking at previously. You can also at this point load the last data import settings to quick start the process if you previously were running imports using the add-on. With the lead object selected, let's go ahead and look at the fields that we can import from the next step. Here you can choose from the fields that are available for this object. Today we're gonna to be importing the state as well as the status. And this allows us to focus on the data set that we're most interested in changing. Let's also import the company name and the lead ID. The lead ID is very important because it allows us to know what object we want to update. Finally, let's filter the data that we're going to be updating. First, we're going to choose the state and we're going to filter on California because that's the territory that we want to make changes to today. We're also going to choose the status and you can see here that we load in the pick list from Salesforce, so we follow all of the data formatting requirements that you already have configured in Salesforce. Let's select contacted to focus on leads that we've reached out to but haven't gotten back to us. One thing I do want to point out is that we do have a SQL editor available. This will allow you to customize the query further than is available in our graphic interface. Now that we've chosen the data that we want to import, Let's go ahead and get the data. You can see here that we've pulled in the state, the status, the company, and the ID. These are exactly the fields that we asked for, and so we're ready to start making our updates. Let's go into status, and we're gonna choose to unqualify some of these leads. So we can edit this just like any other sheet in our instance, and we can use formulas or functions whatever is needed to make those updates. You can see here that we've updated several of them to unqualified, and we're gonna go into the update flow to see how we can make the change on the Salesforce side. Inside the updates flow, we'll see that the options that we have selected are highlighted in yellow. This allows us to know which objects we're gonna be updating when we make these changes. It's very easy to make changes. We just choose a new selection and hit refresh the selected range. You can see here that the new options are highlighted in yellow now. Now that we have the correct selection, we can go ahead and confirm the data that we want to update. 
you'll see that we make some smart decisions to try to make it easy for you to make updates to your data through this process. If we look at the lead object that we're updating, we'll see that it's already selected, which we can tell from the ID number. You can see that there are three functions available for us to make changes. The first is insert, which allows you to insert a new record. The second is update, which allows you to update existing records. And the third is insert or update, which will update a data point if it already exists or insert a new one. Let's go ahead and choose update because that's what we want to be doing today. You can see here that we've already identified the ID in column D and that the results of our update will spit out in column E. And this is just the first column with no data in it. So if you want to change it, you can do that. Just make sure that there's no data going to be overwritten when you make that change. Now we can complete the last step before we make the change, which is confirming the data that we want to update. Today, we're going to unselect the state and the company data because we didn't make any changes and it'll just make the import a little faster because we do run validation on every single object that we update. So let's go ahead and execute and see what happens here. You can see that the data has been updated successfully as indicated by the green message in column E. If there is an error, it will be marked in red and we'll show you the error message that we get back in from Salesforce, which makes it very easy for you to be able to troubleshoot the data as you're making changes. So there you have it. Now you can see how you can seamlessly import, update, manage, and share Salesforce data using Google Sheets. If you want to check out this add-on for your organization, check out the link below to install it from the G Suite Marketplace. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more content like this. 